Hey guys, and welcome back to Zeldude's Play Skyward Sword HD. This time we're in Dungeon 5, The Sandship. Is it Dungeon 5? It actually is. Uh, <laughs> I think so. Wait. What's it? We just did Ancient Sister. Yeah, this is 5. I think this is 5. Okay. Unless I'm, unless I'm really mis misremembering and forgetting a dungeon. <laughs> But yeah, we're pretty far in the game now that I think about it. I guess that makes sense. We have almost all the heart containers. We're on our second row, almost halfway in. But Yeah, um, true. And we haven't really been kind of going out of our way to get all the pieces of heart. I'm sure there's some we've missed um, mm -hmm. in like areas we've been through. Yep. But this is easily one of the most unique dungeons within the game. I mean, it's a sand ship. It's not really like a temple or dungeon, you know, like, uh, you know, some secret location or anything it's just a ship uh which feels yeah, different yeah it's not like a subterranean labyrinth like you expect yeah uh, for a dungeon yeah, yeah it's <laughs> something unique which is cool i love it when zelda does this kind of thing um and yeah like i think i think we've already said this before before we even got to the sand ship but uh i think this is true for you as well as me that this is one of your favorite dungeons in the game perhaps second to yeah ancient second Sistern, to ancient or, cistern say, yep. okay yeah yeah no, we're agreed uh, then. Yeah, wait. Am I an idiot? Is there something here? <laughs> uh, yeah. The, okay, the, there oh, was. There you go. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just a little musical interlude. Yeah. Well, yeah what are you the, drawing? Um, oh, you know what? Let's draw something. I don't know. What should I draw, actually? Just rupees? Uh, yeah, why not? You can never have enough. Okay. If I could do it right, I don't know why I struggle so hard on doing like sharp edges. That's See, looking that should good. Be easy. That's looking good. That's really? <laughs> That's looking good. <laughs> it, it, it's a rupee. It yeah. was until the top, but okay, it's fine. The game yeah. liked it anyway. For it's, a two-year-old, I'd be proud, but maybe, <laughs> maybe yeah. not for someone right. my age. I'm just picturing like Link walking up to Hylia like a kid with their drawer. She's like, "Oh, that's that's great, Link. Well done." <laughs> yeah. Because Dungeon is, um, outside of the atmosphere and, and the way you kind of uh, take it on it just being a ship, the way you tackle it, like solve its puzzles, are so much different than any other dungeon. It's very reminiscent of what we've taken on previously with like the Pirate Stronghold, where we're going to be, um, you know, using the time mechanic to yeah. kind of go and from the, the past um, to the present. The mining facility as well. It feels like the game's kind of slowly rolled out different uh, different ways to use the time shift mechanic. Um, mm -hmm. Like we've, we've, we've progressively learned more about them. Like it starts with the main crystals, then you start playing around with time shift orbs uh, in the pirate's stronghold, and now with with the sand ship, it's kind of just go for it, and it uses the mechanic in probably the most extensive way. Uh, yeah. And yeah, it, it's just, it, it's so cool. It, it's such a cool mechanic, and especially in this dungeon where we'll see quite soon that- uh, It does it the best. It, and and it that's does, probably it, why it's it like so the good. finale yeah. of uh, these kind of puzzles. I think maybe we revisit it like briefly later on, but this is like the yeah. extent of it. You'll have a little bit in, in Sky Keep, but that's mm -hmm. kind of just a, a I don't know what like a, would be. Um, like a, a reference or like- Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's kind of like a summary of everything you've done throughout the game. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, this is definitely like the zenith of, of time shift gimmicks uh, in this game. Uh -huh. And I think the dungeon just absolutely rules because of it. And yeah, yep. the fact that it's a ship is just really cool. Um, we haven't <laughs> yeah. seen that too much. Like, uh, obviously there's Phantom Hourglass's ghost ship, which I completely forgot existed last episode. Uh, <laughs> It, Tears of the Kingdom recently had um, the Stormwind Arc, which I think did this, the whole mysterious magical chip theme. Kind it did it the well. best. I just wish yeah. it was bigger and, and, it and was, there was more to exactly. do. Exactly. It was lacking in terms of puzzle solving, but like in terms of the atmosphere and the mysteriousness it gave, it, it did it the best. It was a ship in the middle of a whirlwind. It was insanely cool for what it was and how yeah. these are electric. But um, this one, that, like the the dungeon itself is way more expansive uh, in this. The sand ships, a lot harder, a lot longer than than um, Storm and Dark. Which, you know, I love the build up, I love the atmosphere, but it is quite disappointing uh, in terms of the puzzles and and the length of the dungeon itself. Yeah, this this though, uh, very. I would say one of the 
okay, it, it throws you in for a loop. Let's just say that. This reminds me a lot of like Luigi's Mansion with how you puzzle solve things. So like you're gonna visit room and then have to come back to it later if you're missing a key or like some kind of main thing. And I don't know why I think of Luigi's Walking Mansion. Walking around carrying a vacuum cleaner. Very yeah. Oh, and oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe because what I'm doing right now also it's reminiscent of Luigi's Mansion, but also just also maybe because of the fact that it is like a you know abandoned ship, kind of like the the mansion, but less ghosts yeah. and ghouls and more more just dead, dead robots. robots. Yeah. Still dead things actually when you think about it. But okay, so this clearly is a uh. So we got to count for, so for the, this puzzle Yeah, they here. match to the to the the lock on the door. Yeah, so, so this um, would be the first one, right? Or yeah, so make sure okay. yeah, red's up, so it'll be down. Uh -huh. Yeah, down, down up, up, and then down, down right, right. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. I think that's right. <laughs> let's have a look. Yeah, so this is not like the one we did in the ancient cistern, which was the Konami code. That was uh, what I down, uh, right. yeah forgot. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I was thinking of like the the cheat code, you know, the ultimate cheat code, right? It's the Konami code, right? That's the that's the actual oh. name of it. It yeah, originated yeah, yeah. in that. Yeah. Do you know the Konami code off by heart? I, I don't think I do. Uh, what do you mean, like up? Wh wait, what do you mean, up, down, yeah, left, like, right, A, B, or I don't know, something? It's something or, like is, that. Yeah, yeah. Is there more to uh, it? I actually don't know. But I know a lot of games adapted that as like the cheat code, and like you, you'd secretly do it on like the title screen or something. And um, yeah, um, yeah. That's why I remembered that one. This one, yeah, I have to literally check because I'm not gonna remember it. Um. Yeah, it's weird. And I think so I think that's kind of a better way to do it as well, how the sand ship does it. Because the ancient system just has a sign that says, you know, yeah, this is true, the code of a dungeon. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> th th this actually required some puzzle solving in, to some extent, you know, like figuring out the order um, instead of, yeah, something telling you. But yeah, like the, the way we're doing this, so we went all the way to the end of the sand ship, uh, like down below, picked up a small key. And if anything, we can see the boss door is right here. And then we have yeah. to like backtrack all the way back and we're gonna be kind of like we're gonna revisit all the rooms that we just passed by again and again. It's from... been quite chill going mm -hmm. through the sand ship so far. In terms of enemies, we haven't really had many, but uh, yeah, true. It, was, it wasn't <laughs> always like that. I think when we revert yeah. to the past, it'll be a little bit a little more hostile. You'll see, yeah, what we mean when we see the time mechanic is like heavily implied within this because I guess we haven't even seen it yet, so. <laughs> Oh, um, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been all we've the been talking past about so far. it. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, the the look of the sand ship gets so much better because right now it is kind of dull and grayed out. So I'm excited for once we actually, um, you know, see it in the past and see how cool it looked. But I think we yeah. head all the way back to so literally we're going all the way back, I think right? Because we're gonna use we the are, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so really interesting how you kind of. Maneuver. Oh, and here we go. This yep. is a very cool mini boss fight. Uh, mm. So, yes, yeah, Skipper was complaining that his vessel had been seized by pirates. And <laughs> here he is. Look at him. Yeah, just badass standing like <laughs> some anime villain. <laughs> yeah. And I love the, the fact that he's still alive and functional in the present uh -huh. day. Means yeah, that he's unlike. Kind of Unlike the rest, uh, yeah. Of them. Unlike Skipper and the ancient, the rest of the ancient robots, this guy has lived on, um, yep. just kind of cruising around on his ship for thousands but of years. Such a cool battle, like sword v sword, mono e mon e robot, whatever. Uh, you, <laughs> you get my point. <laughs> mono e, yeah, botto or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, but yeah, it's really it, cool fight. Yep. You know, um, and it really like uses the motion controls. Luckily, I'm not using them to its extent. I mean, not really actually, because if you just parry like this, I can just keep jabbing him, and this seems to be doing the job. I don't have to like try to avoid his um, sword and like you know try to strike him like gear him in like a certain way. This seems to be much yeah. easier just doing this. Luckily, he has a hook for an arm. I have a shield. <laughs> well, now he only has a <laughs> yeah. hook. Okay. Here we go. So. <laughs> Can you still parry the hook? I assume you can, right? I bet you can, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah there you Too go. Too easy. Okay, yeah, let's the see parry if I... just destroys this guy. Um, oh, God. Can you parry? Oh, oh, okay. Well, I, I was able to wait, block you, uh, it. Before we, before we send go. him to his doom, why don't you see what Fly's oh, got to say? True. True. Okay. So, LD002S uh, Skurvo. Yep. Um, 
I don't know what scurvo is meant to mean. Is it meant to be a bit like scurvy? Scurvy, what, what, yeah, what? that's what I'm thinking. Know. You know, it's kind of like a pirate <laughs> disease. Scurvy. He won't get scurvy uh, though. You know, he's he's fine. He's a <laughs> he's a mute, Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, mutinous robot stole the ship from Skipper long ago, and he still commands it today, which I think is pretty yep. cool. Yeah, yeah, so technically we were chasing him down when we were trying to, uh, you know, like have it reveal its uh, cloak, you know, the invisibility cloak. And the dude's yeah. just, you know, going around Lene Russi, I guess, for no reason. <laughs> he's bored. It's unlucky for him that <laughs> Lene Russi is so tiny. So he stole oh. the ship, but he can't really escape very far oh. away, right? He's, but he, he's uh -huh. just got to kind of circle around this little pond <laughs> for all time. And now he's going to meet his demise. It's over for him. But yeah, he's such a cool <laughs> boss. Uh, even aesthetically, I do like the way he looks. But um, something I, I don't want to forget saying is he's such a it's such a weird design because like out of all the like figurines Nintendo could have made of Zelda villains, this is the only one we got of Skyward Sword. Yeah, um, there's the Skurvo figurine. Uh, you're right. That is a weird choice. You'd think yeah. it'd be, um, I don't know, like Link versus Girahim or something rather than the Skurvo. Yep. And I have one. I'm assuming you have one as well, right? Like, that's the only Skyward Sword yeah, villain yeah, yeah. we're able to get or something. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm right in thinking there's also a Link on a loft wing, but that's huge. Oh, no. And that, that, that is also first four figures. I think those were, oh, yeah. Okay. Those were like hand painted or something. There's only a select amount. But I think like the Skurver ones were mass produced. I knew, you could probably yeah. still get one today. Yeah. If you look it up, if you're curious, if you want this guy who just died as a cool figurine, <laughs> you could probably get him, yeah. maybe. <laughs> but okay, now that we killed him, he was technically the mini boss a bit early for a mini boss, but it's yeah. good because we get the item of the dungeon as soon there as you possible. Go. Classic Zelda item. Uh, mm -hmm. Doesn't feel complete without it. And I like how it has to knock the slingshot and Deku seeds. It's like, oh, this will do way more damage and way more range. <laughs> Yeah, this is a man's <laughs> weapon now. Yeah. <laughs> well, Link has... Well, right. interesting, you're right, because in, like, Ocarina of Time, only young Link uses the Deku slingshot. Exactly, and yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Or the fairy slingshot, and then this one... This is called the Hero's Bow, right? I, I wasn't even paying attention. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, and, and Fai's telling us yeah. how we can activate certain things with it. But, yeah. Um, so, I guess uh, yeah. this this is only meant for heroes, but, like, I think also in Ocarina of Time, the the... The bow was called the fairy's bow. That's the or fairy bow. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, see, you can shoot it from here, but it's so so difficult. Yeah. You know what? I'll, give, I'll give it. it a give shot. it one go. If you don't. Yeah. yeah one it's go. So okay. difficult. I think I could see it. Like I could. Yeah. Like, There's like a couple of pixels just peeping out. Yeah. Okay. Oh Screw that. yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> I, I need to get used to, to the way played. it shoots as well. But I mean, that's really cool that you can shoot it from here. That means like that part of the map is loaded in. As long as you're outside, everything is kind of functional. But you have to go through yeah. a loading screen to actually reach it. So it's cool how Nintendo actually kind of designed that. I mean, I have no idea how game design works. I don't know if that was easier for them or more complicated. Yeah. I, I, I don't really know enough <laughs> enough to guess. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> I play anyway, the I, lo I love what I love what happens when you hit this. Oh yeah. The, so, oh uh, wait, yeah. When we strike this, actually. Mm -hmm. The uh, again, you said she. I mean, I guess the time shift stone is reminiscent of the Sheikah because of the design, but we can't be well, yeah, certain so, so it's if got, that's exactly. It's got the Sheikah eye on it, or, or at least yeah. something very close. That looks like it, it. and um, mm -hmm. yeah, it, it does look a lot like it, and we know that. Uh, obviously, they were used by Hylia in some form, at least to make the Gates of Time, perhaps to make things like the Ocarina of Time as well. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, the there ship was somehow involved. But anyway, look, there you go. Oh, my Reverse, God, so beautiful. Not just beautiful. the ship, but the sea around it. Yep. Uh, to the to the distant past. And then the Bokoblins lock it away, of course. And the music adds, there's this, like, new instrument right now that has this adventure. So you still hear the dun-dun-dun, you know, like that. But then, okay, all these... Freaking enemies are gonna ruin the music. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> try to listen to a song. <laughs> <laughs> that was my okay, there we sound, go. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hear that? Like yeah, that kind of so good. It's, oh, it's so, so good. beautiful. Yeah. And again, this looks so amazing. Like, yeah, I wish we could have explored it like this. I wish we can set sail on this boat and 
just see what everything looks like around the uh, Lene Russi, but sadly we can't. Oh, but look, there's a, a little zapper to stop you leaving the boat. Yeah, true. There so you, you can't <laughs> explore it in the uh, past. They, they don't want you to. Uh, yeah. But okay. Oh, this is close. Oh, true. Oh. oh, yo, oh. you could. Nice I didn't one. know you could do that. <laughs> no. Interesting. Because I know in Breath of the Wild that that's a easy way to farm arrows from enemies, but... Yeah, um, you can get like a wooden shield or something and just let them hit it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, oh, I don't know why I did that now, so. but maybe that will be beneficial later on. That's something we're going to do later on, I think. Or Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the I think right place. now our goal is, because as soon as we... Um, yeah, we want to head up there. As soon as we... Uh, Oh, and this is our first time picking up uh, 10 arrows, a bundle. It's weird. Look, there um, you go. Look, the arrows that you got there, they were different than the one the Bokoblin gave you. Or the, well, gave yeah, you. Yeah, because it's a bundle. Yeah, but I mean the... Um, oh, uh, they gonna, look different? Uh, like I'm the design? I'm going to get made fun of for not knowing my, my arrow terminology, but the, the feather bit uh, on the end of the arrow. Oh. Yeah, that was really different on the Bokoblin arrow. Quill? Cool. No. I don't know. Yeah, I have no clue. What doing. But okay. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm Feathers. even gonna try yeah. it. I, I don't yeah. need to look dumb, you know, try to figure this out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's uh Oh nice, so we can pick so wait, can can we do that with our own? Wait. I didn't mean to pull out the superior weapon. <laughs> yeah, look, there you go. Look at the, the feathers on that one. Ah, Whoa. interesting. Wait, how did you get yeah. get that? Oh, okay, right, you got shot, yeah. I yeah, yeah. He I thought he something you one. walked into the arrow on the floor and it like spiked you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, the arrow is so nice because yeah, the ranged uh, mm. like damage and the that we're doing. Screw it does when it flies as well. Yep. It's very satisfying. Oh. Yeah, I'd say this is probably the best we've gotten a bow and arrow in uh, 3D Zelda until Breath of the Wild: Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, I Breath of the Wild: Tears of the Kingdom. Just because of the um, the ability to slow time makes it really fun. True, but, true. But yeah, the bow in this is, is great. Um, uh, and, and we can uh, upgrade I'm, it like all other we weapons. We can upgrade it, exactly, yeah. yeah. And, and I'm team motion control all the way. Oh, it comes same. To, to bow and arrows. Yeah. And yep. So like, yeah, you know, you, uh, pe pe people, people complain about motion controls in all different parts of Skyward Sword, but, you know, even... The biggest motion control hater surely can kind of at least agree that it works for the bow. Uh huh. 100%. It's uh, just so much more satisfying. Again, maybe I know some people just despise motion controls, but like, um, mm. there is the precision is much better, unless maybe you're just really good on sticks and you just prefer True. it that way. But okay, so but like skipper. With Made it up. Skipper, there you go. I would he like to see him climb that ladder. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and walk through the, the zapper. Maybe <laughs> true. He'd probably maybe be fine. Hurt him because he's a robot. Yeah, yeah maybe it, it kind of charges him, him up. up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the bow the, in Breath of the Wild, the way you can you can use the sticks for like whatever you want, but then you can also just slightly adjust your hands for like minor adjustments to the bow. It just works so well. And if I turn motion control off for whatever reason, like if I'm recording a video or something um and then try and use the bow with the sticks i just can't do it anymore yeah because immediately your muscle memory is like oh, i gotta tilt a little bit i need like yeah, precision you still use the sticks yep. it's not like you go full-on splatoon mode or something where you just like you're steering splatoon the controller mode, around yeah. <laughs> but yeah. i mean that's what i do in splatoon i like have the sensitivity super high and like i'll just like steer it that way um yep. but this it's like yeah you just like let's say right now I'll st I can still use the sticks, but if I want to like kind of be super precise and get exactly what I want, it's just slight tilt, and it's so much more satisfying than yeah, exactly. Because yeah. Um, yeah, Ocarina of Time Majora's Mask was horrible uh, dealing yeah. with the target. The three D games, games were nice again because they added oh, yeah. motion controls. So you exactly. Can just move the three DS around a bit. Um, mm -hmm. This area is optional, right? What's down here? Oh yeah, yeah. Th this actually is. The because there's not many, there's not heart pieces in every single uh dungeon, but this one has one, and I'm pretty sure it's yeah, literally right here. Want to make sure okay. I grab that, but yeah, you can skip out on it entirely. And skipping on, I feel like heart pieces in dungeons are the worst because if you're trying to you know figure out which ones you missed, that's like the last place you'll look. <laughs> yeah, all right, what are we drawing uh, now? I don't even know. Uh, uh, why don't you try an arrow? I think we might have full arrows anyway, but okay. I don't know. Is that good enough? 
beautiful. <laughs> what? It's just like, nah, it didn't even want to reward me with anything. Is that just what it gives you if it if it can't work out what you're trying to do? Yeah, I, I believe so, because that's probably the worst reward. Unless, I mean, maybe if you draw a heart, you probably get more hearts, right? I don't think you only get three. That seems kind of low. Yeah, probably. Yeah. We yeah, should yeah. try to draw one next time then, even if I'm at full, just to see if that's the case. Because that might be like the you tried reward. In <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm excited to see your next drawing. <laughs> okay. Hopefully we find one d down here as well, or like within this uh, ship. Within but, the Okay. Dungeon. So yeah. Yeah. We opened that up. Interestingly enough. No, no. We can't take that boat as a shortcut just yet because I don't believe the area to it is open so we got to go back here manually and then now we're going to revisit this area in the past which is so beautiful I love how the the wood yep. actually was painted and has like this you know water wave and drawing wave and, patterns yeah yep. and you notice yeah just how how much more vibrant it is because it was really dull and just kind of grayed out like I've mentioned before but now it's like it's really come to life it looks beautiful yeah no it's cool. you can really hey, see there you this. Go, the uh, the crest of uh Nehru yep and it makes sense it would be here because this is where Nehru's flame is you know at it's a weird place to leave it I'll be honest just on a ship yeah uh, right like the other flames are kind of secured in in dungeons like you'd expect but <laughs> Yeah, the whole purpose of the sand ship is to just kind of sail around and uh, guard Nehru's flame. Although, evidently, it didn't do a great job. Um, <laughs> or it did a really good job, because uh, uh, no one could find it. <laughs> till Skirvo shows up. I'm not sure whether that's like the, the implication of why he took over the ship. Did he want Nehru's flame? I, I don't really know what he'd have done with it without the Master mm -hmm. Sword, uh, without the Goddess Sword, but, but yeah. whatever. Oh, and here's a hey, good example there you go. of like so that's just nice painted wood, not a yep. quicksand bog. Which is weird how there, yeah, would be quicksand on a moving ship. Actually, yeah, yeah true. You know, It'd be quicksand, it, like. but only like an inch deep, which yep. isn't quite as scary. But okay, oh, this is the only. Yeah, okay, we can go into one of these rooms. This again, very reminiscent of Luigi's Mansion of how like we have to figure out how to get into all of these rooms. We see a lot of them. I haven't played the game in a while. I might be. Honestly, misremembering, but I feel like this is <laughs> giving me that vibe. <laughs> kind of calling it anything Luigi's Mansion, like going yeah. into rooms, being on a ship. This block puzzle <laughs> is literally Luigi's Mansion. Oh, that's Mansion. so <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> yeah, if anything, it's immediately He's wearing gives green. <laughs> True, yo. He has a hat. He's yeah. he says lame it's starts with L. L. Bro, wait. Whoa. Is Link Luigi? Bro, I think we just, bro, I'm, I came up with I think, the most I think you cracked Zelda it there. theory. Yeah, yeah. I think. <laughs> the Zelda Link is actually lazy brother. from the Zelda team, not going to lie. Like, you know, be a bit original, just copy all the games. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> do we even want to go up here or no? Probably, hmm. Uh, wait, just Are, check this. So, wait, when you put the block, that just opened these, right? That opened up, but maybe, okay, so what do we even do? Oh, and I just realized. The one, this music keeps starting up again every time we walk in, which is kind of nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, yeah. You I realize. think that these lights, they didn't even look like lights. I thought they were fans, but they're actually light bulbs. They look really cool, uh, obviously, in the past, not present. Yeah. We'll, I'll try to look at them in the, the present. So I think, yeah, we want to actually do this. So we want to ride this up um, and then hit mm. the switch, go into the... Oops. That doesn't work. It, it should work, honestly, but... I guess no, that oh, would right. I suppose, maybe break yeah, the sequence. Because it's the dungeon where yeah. you get the bow. Yeah, they make sure you use it. Also, what is up with Link? Why is he just standing still like that? His arch, like his, his back <laughs> is arched and like just waiting yeah. for it to end. <laughs> it's so awkward. Um, but okay, yeah, there we go. So uh, we're really okay, going back. Right. Yeah. You know, present to past. We got to Yeah, I love the way the way. sails in the present are all kind of torn and... It's a good visual cue, the way when you mm -hmm. change between the time periods, the sails either kind of unravel or just shrivel up into these yep. old rags. I, I mean, <laughs> people in the comments will probably be sick of how much we've gushed about time shift stones, but it is just such a cool mechanic. I mean, th that is a core Zelda thing, like, you know, time traveling, you know, being able to alter time. It's something I absolutely love uh, in the series. and. I mean, if, if this game is going to do it heavily, I'm going to appreciate it. I, it's hard. To, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you think of yeah, Zelda, oh, yeah, you think yeah, of yeah, time yeah, traveling. Yeah. But yeah, this yeah, is really and it's, cool. This is 
time travel, but kind of with a weird twist. Um, uh huh. Well. Okay. What's happened? There oh, there you go. go. Yeah, nice. It did. Like, for some reason, I have to hold the stick. But there we go. We got some of the engine room working. Yeah. I guess. I assume so. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's yeah. weird. So it's got a big engine room, but still has sails. So I don't know. Maybe it's both. But yeah, it is weird I mean, how the sand ship is 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 this kind of it's extremely futuristic um, vehicle from the technologically advanced distant past, but it's made of wood still and still has sails. It's still like a kind of classic galleon true. or whatever. And this is probably the place where you wouldn't want to have a flame, a sacred flame. It'd probably burn up the whole ship now that I true. think about it's, it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we technically cleared uh, these two doors, so now we gotta do these ones. And this, as you can see, a fan. It probably wouldn't be moving in the present, right? So we gotta figure out how to do that. Luckily... Indeed, yeah. Yeah, with these... Oh, God. Ooh, okay, well, he wouldn't be... <laughs> yeah. Probably, I could probably kill him. What about these guys? Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. Well, we'll find okay. them. Okay. Yeah, we'll find... Okay. she says, yeah. I, did we ever... We never scanned them before, the tech the goblins? Uh. Maybe not. Mm, okay. Might have done. I, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We once again, we have I think to hit we, yeah. it. We scan most of the interesting ones, I think. Like, uh -huh. um, again. <laughs> yeah. The way Link is like the back is, yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. When he freezes like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, but he's not like frozen. Frozen. It's like he's still. I think. I think he's still like slightly shaking. You know, like you know, just idly moving. But like, it looks. It's just so awesome. Just with like a, a broken back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but okay, yeah, now we gotta go back into the present so we can actually get in that room, I think, or at least hit the switch because of the yeah. fan. The fan is just moving So at the very fast. least we can, yeah, we can shoot an arrow through that now. Now the fan's not spinning. Yep. Oh yeah, okay, here's a good example. Yeah, they look, they, you wouldn't think those are bulbs. I guess they, now that I look at them this way, they kind of do look like bulbs. Yeah, they're not quite transparent, are they? Yeah. <laughs> so rusted, okay, I guess. Right, there you go. Yeah. And this just opens up the door. Oh, so that just opens that. Oh, okay. Do we go, want to go back in the past? I guess we'll figure out. Let's let's uh, go in the yeah, present and see. Well. Uh, if there's an engine room, it definitely wants to be in the... Huh. Wait. Okay. Well, we'll figure well, what, it out what, then. What does that pressure plate do? Uh, I'm assuming it's for this. Wait. I can't even push this? What? Oh. No. What? <laughs> there you go. I couldn't hey, push it from the it? opposite Not push direction. It. That's weird. Yeah. Um, so I do think, yeah, we want to step on this pressure plate so we can, yeah, open up that. Oh, of course. And then course. we just hit it. Yeah, so good, okay. Good thing we're still right. in the present because yeah, the fan yeah. would be moving too quickly for us to actually hit that. That opens up this door. Okay. Right. And so now we can return to the past. At, oh. Oh, that's yep. fine. That doesn't do anything. Now yeah. we can return <laughs> to the past and, and turn that second engine switch on, right? Mm hmm Yeah. Which, uh, okay. again, yeah, you shift back and forth quite a bit, but I like how it actually affects the entire ship. So, uh, you like, I feel like it requires a little bit of thinking. It's not as straightforward as you might think because the way you have to solve things. And I like that again. Um, I kind of yeah. wish Zelda utilized that more in, in like, like Tears of the Kingdom had time mechanic, but it was just recall. And if anything, it was so overpowered, it didn't really feel like. You never really, if anything, you broke puzzles with it. You didn't really yeah. solve many oh, puzzles yeah, with yeah, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially, <laughs> like, yeah. combining it with Ultra Hand is just completely busted. Um, yep. I kind of, right, like, just... Nintendo obviously knew, um, like, how powerful Link's abilities were in Tears of the Kingdom. Some parts of me think that they didn't quite oh. realize, like, the extent of how powerful Link was. Um, yeah. Because he can do some crazy things in that game. Yeah, to get, I mean, to give us such a unique ability like that, it kind of made sense. But yeah, okay, I think that's everything. Strong vibrations again, and yeah, we should be good, right? Right, okay. Yeah, I hope so, so. Do we access the room with the crew by going through the engine room then? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I believe that's through the room that has the windows open. The up. lifeboat room, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yep, okay. Yeah, let's go have a look. So let's jump down here and... I, of course we want it to be in the past. What am I saying? I was going to say, should we go back in the present and not? Nah, maybe the engines wouldn't be working by then. <laughs> All <laughs> yeah. this would have been for nothing. Yeah. But, so wait, <laughs> with the, the symbol on that dead. door, by the way, I'm getting Kokiri vibes, but obviously that's not... 
it's just a swirl. <gasps> Zone I swirl. Yeah, no. well, ex oh, yeah, no, give give Nintendo Black Crisis a call because uh, that is indeed a Zone I swirl or um, or something very closely resembling it. Yeah, you oh. get that symbol in a, in a couple of games in a couple of places. Um, I think most notably in Breath of the Wild, it's the symbol of Luralin Village. Um, uh -huh. It's kind of everywhere in that. But yeah, it's a you know it's a, it's a swirl, so it, it could be r related to the Zonai. Um, I think there are very similar markings to that on on Zonai ruins. I, I, it might I might be misremembering that, but uh -huh. but yeah, who knows? But yeah, Zelda does kind of reuse and repurpose symbols um, all throughout the games. Yeah, I uh, guess Nintendo didn't think people would you know really dig deep and, and try to understand the meaning you know sometimes it's just aesthetically it looks cool so why not <laughs> let's put a swirl on the door why not yeah, yeah. it does or look it's cool just, though it does look cool or it's just more yeah. of the the classic nintendo like we'll we'll put this here and then players can work Whoa. out whatever it means for themselves yeah hey we've and hit the mother load the, here so it's, yeah this I is this really is like the pirate, booty the, the pirate booty yeah <laughs> okay what have we got <laughs> Monster Horn. Wow, hmm. is it really worth it? I mean, the chest is more valuable than that piece of crap. <laughs> yeah, okay. right. Um, okay. Hopefully some rupees. I could definitely use some. Okay, there hey. we go. It's not bad. Yeah, answered. Not bad. I love this is kind of nice, five though. Back to back chest opening. Right. <laughs> the the game is. I mean, but I appreciate that. It's like it, it 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 kind of not only is it rewarding the player, but it makes sense. This is a pirate ship. We're gonna find some treasure. So like you're really given that kind of nice. opportunity, and. I w again, you can actually skip this out, right? There's no, there's no key, uh, here, yeah. right? Yeah, there's not a key. Oh, some e more evil crystals, weird things. Evil to crystals. Yeah, no, it's collect. optional. It's a bit like um. Oh, but like if you had the dungeon map, you would notice immediately. You'd where to see go. them, yeah. But <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a bit like the uh, the treasure room in Hyrule Castle in Twilight Princess. You know, up near Ganon's door. Yeah, That's but that that one was at the end of the game. It felt like it was really meant to be and it, I feel like it was more secretive was it or could you just literally go walk in the room well it was more secretive because you needed a small key to get into it but yeah the only way exactly you'd have, the only way you'd have the extra small key is by going to the graveyard you know that kind of weird area where you have to to dig okay. under a wall as wolf link and there's a kind of weird optional extra area yeah so that felt a lot more rewarding honestly this is just, but again fits the, the theme of the pirate ship so yeah. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Okay. But so okay. Do you go through here. Is this where the the jail is? Oh yeah, because we're gonna save all of Skipper's crew, which is actually yeah. when you see the photo, it looks like there's a lot more than what we're gonna end up finding. Um, yeah, it, right. That doesn't kind of bode well for the rest crew. of them. I wonder where they yeah. are. <laughs> There you go. So they're in boat jail at the moment, but we'll we'll rescue them. They're probably thrown overboard like we did with Skirvo or something. <laughs> Yeah, true. <laughs> Do you think they float or sink, ancient robots? I mean, wouldn't they just, like, completely fry if... Oh, they're... yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they, they work well with water. No. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's interesting because all of these are just kind of named the same, except a very few, which I guess it makes sense. It's the model, I guess, like the series. You yeah, LD301. Yeah, I, I wish we could figure out who the creator was behind him. No, it was highly, uh, right? Like, unless it was highly created. Robotic. Yeah, because well, they, they all refer to um, the Thunder Dragon as as master, but I don't oh. think it's ever. I don't think it's ever made explicit if he made them or not. It would make sense because he is a Thunder Dragon too. He could probably zap life into them or something. <laughs> there <know>. you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but Yo, yeah, my theories are on, on point. I'm oh, I know, saying, man. We yeah, <laughs> need a, a supercut of ZM's <laughs> theories throughout this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, so we saved them. Somehow they escaped from there. It's weird because the, the jail, it seems like it, like they go into what seems like would have been the jail room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the vibe I get. So but is this okay. guy the, the jail guard then? I Is's guess. Wait. Okay. Wait. Oh, I can't What's get out of here. Anyway. I have to escape um, through here and walk all the way around again? Or no, no, I already went through this Wait, no, room. no, so, you've already opened that one. He gave you a yeah. small key. Um, okay. We'll pull up the map a sec. We'll, we'll find whether there'll be a locked door somewhere. Oh, I think I Ooh. went too far. Okay, so the, the flame think? is here. The locked door is here. Oh, okay, it's back on oh, okay. the uh, surface of the ship, I think. We just have to 
Uh, oh, let me crawl faster. I, I always thought this was weird, going in first person and crawling like this. It's so freaky, because... Well, it's, it's either that, or you just got your face See up Link's ass. ass the whole true, time. True, yeah. true. I didn't, I didn't think of that. <laughs> 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 Probably for the better, <laughs> now that I think about it. Um, I'm trying to think of Twilight Princess. Did you see at least Wolf Link? Was it from behind or was it? No, it was also first person, right? It was always yeah, first person. Um, uh, um, it must have been, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but either way, it, is, yeah, it's, it has good potential for jump scares. That, that's what I was going to get at. And also, I need oh, to get a zoom right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't Dude look comfy. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, um, but like you, you know, you turn a corner and you don't know what's going to be on the other side. I think I already mentioned. Did I mention it in a previous episode? I might have done that. The rats in the tunnels in the Wind Waker gave me nightmares as a kid. Oh, true. Those I were the jump scares. Them. I hated them so much. Out of any Zelda game, those were the games that had the jump scares. The the cutest, most cartoon. Yeah, because they like <laughs> lull you in with a, a false sense of security, and then yeah, <laughs> yeah. But okay, okay, so this should be is the this final stretch. The, this okay. is the captain's room or whatever. Kind of boring room. Wait. Oh, but we should go in, in the past. Whoops. Because oh, okay. there's no way in. Oh, is the captain's yeah. quarters. Or in the present. In the I think that's the, the boss room, right? Um, oh, really? So his room is where the sacred flame is? I thought that would be the, the actual engine room. or I don't, I don't... Honestly, I don't know. You know, I never Wasn't actually this? been on a yeah. ship. <laughs> In You've my never life. been on a ship, really? No, nah, I've I've been on like a, a small little boat, you know, like on a lake. I've never been on a ship. Oh yeah. Um, I well, I, I'm. I mean, I, don't know. I was you? about to describe to you what it's like to be on a ship. It's just yeah. exactly what you'd imagine. It's just yeah, <laughs> you're out at sea on, on a big no stable thing. ground. Probably like yeah. easy all the time. At least that's why I hear. I don't know how. I I feel like I have a pretty strong stomach. I don't know. It depends. Like, like the bigger the ship, the kind of less you feel the rocking. Like if you, oh okay, you know, that makes sense. if you take like a ferry, like there's there's ferries all the time between England and France, uh, for uh -huh. example, and like you don't feel the rocking when the ship's that big. Uh huh. Because um, they, they, I think they all, they all have like fancy ways of of stabilizing. Anyway, I think they, I think they like take water in at the bottom and kind of move water around to balance the ship. It's all like super high tech now. Oh, I thought it was powered by a time shift crystal and it's like <laughs> magically moved. <laughs> is that another theory? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it must be. I mean, this game is proof. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. ah, come on. Okay. I'm pretty on. sure we can Send just do this. There we yes. go. But it doesn't kill it. Yeah, should it kill it immediately just... like you do with a guardian. Yeah. It just uh, stuns it, which is fine. It gives us an easier opportunity to kill it. Um. So I'm assuming yeah, we you a lot of arrows, exactly doesn't it? Before. Did it? Wait, that did? I thought it was the pot. No, yeah, no, that, that's what I meant. As in, oh. this dungeon gives you a lot of arrows. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. makes sense because you need them to solve things. Um, it's, I believe, like yeah, usually what Nintendo does, like I'm thinking of specifically, Spirit Tracks, I believe, like. If there's a boss you have to use an arrow for, literally the boss will drop arrows some way, somehow as well. Like they'll oh, find a way to give the yeah. player arrows. Yeah, um, you get that a lot. Like uh, I think my favorite is Godan in the Wind Waker, who sneezes out arrows if you run out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, three B most room. Yep. Luckily, I can it. Hell yeah. Nice. All right. Let's... I, these guys are so satisfying to kill, but easily the worst B most design. Uh, ever. I, I love the eye and the weird, like, shape of the Beemos in, like, Ocarina of Time and Majora's yeah, Mask. Yeah, they've Those always weirded me out in Ocarina of Time. The way yeah. they've got kind of like a fate, they've got like a mouth uh, on the yeah. bottom. Um, mm -hmm. Or like teeth or whatever. Hey, there you yep. go, the squid carving, which uh, kind of like tentacles with a single eye. Very creepy. Uh -huh. it's, it's foreshadowing something. It, I'll be honest, yeah, the squid spoiler, carving right? looks a lot cooler then <laughs> yeah, what's true. up ahead. <laughs> then what we've got waiting for us, yeah. We, we don't have to do uh, that, right? Why, why do they give us the opportunity to do that? I'm trying to think. We don't, yeah, who cares? We're, we're literally leaving. Yeah. Um, but like, there, there is like, yeah, an area where we could shoot the time shift crystal again. Maybe if you don't want to take out the BMOs, but then would that gate open up? I don't even know. Um, yeah, if you could like change it to the oh. present to, to wipe out all the BMOs. Yeah, what? let's oh. do this. Let's take his okay. horn, there we go. 
And no, actually, if that. we see a... No, there's no more tech moblins. Uh, if we do see one, I'll make sure to... This is probably our last oh, chance yeah. to run across uh, one. Well, I mean, we, we revisit Lineru later anyway with the whole Thunder Dragon, Song of the Hero stuff. I'm sure we'll find one then. Uh, True. If not Skykeep. I don't think that'll be the yep. last one. Oh, um, before we continue, let me just have a quick... Have know, a cheeky sit down. Yep. Yeah, course. just need to relax. It's crazy how Link falls asleep so quickly. Actually, how long would it take? Should I wait? I'm going to wait it out. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, you know, oh, no. Ooh. He got distracted because I turned. Oh, that's not going to. Well, got his mind was wandering. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, it's cool, though. So when your camera angle positions towards a, an item like that, he'll actually pay attention to it. That's actually a nice That detail. is cool. Yeah. 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 I, I remember like in um, the Wind Waker, like certain things you might not be able to tell what to do. Link's eyes would be directly towards it. And it kind of gives yeah. you, you know, the Those idea big of what cartoon to do. eyes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's such yep. a cool way, because it's not like a... It doesn't really spoil uh, the puzzles, but like it will kind of point you in the right direction if, you, if you're stuck. Because you don't have to look at Link either, um, if yep. you want to like play it blind or whatever. But yeah, it's a cool way of giving hints. Oh, there we go. Oh, here you go. There's another Technoblin. Right, what does Fi say? Okay. okay. The Coblins wield sophisticated weaponry you created you. Okay, well, that's quite boring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, that, was, that wasn't worth it. Oh, there you go. They oh, also wear the go, latest yeah. in Bokoblin fashion. I love the way the issue was mentions Bokoblin fashion, like with the cursed yeah. ones. Yeah, the cur I mean, the cursed ones did have horrible underpants, but <laughs> yeah. the these <laughs> actually do look pretty cool. And actually, do they? Oh, wait, no. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, you know, screw it. Okay, okay, let's do this. Eh. Okay, it doesn't work. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm just not even going to bother. Just kill him. But yeah, he does have a pretty dope belt. Um, yeah. It'd be cool if they dropped skulls. Similar to, I believe, yeah, it's like the the Wind Waker. We've been talking about the Wind Waker a lot. Uh, they, oh! Yeah, I just realized we could do this. Um, Ooh, go for it. But they, um, Does this one like, hit it if you snipe it like that? Yeah, pretty sure it like, yeah, destroys it all. Yeah, yeah, nice. But the that's Moblins, cool. oh, and you could see, so if you didn't know how to get there, you'd be like, oh, I need this, and that's yeah, cool. Yeah, and then you backtrack through the whole dungeon. Yeah, yeah, but it's so easy. It's like, it, it was unavoidable. Like, I literally stumbled upon it, not even, I just thought that was the way forward, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, oh, well, it was a happy accident. Yeah, but like, I was going to say the Moblins, you know, like, you see them wear their necklace, they drop the necklace. It'd be cool if that was kind of like that. Yeah, with the tech. Or like uh, the Dark Nuts with their... What's it called? Knight's Crest? Uh, yeah. Uh, the belts, anyway. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, my God. Moving this around is torturous. Oh, that uh, was... Okay. Yeah, yeah, you there you it. go. Yeah. Nice. yeah, no, it's literally the difficult... It's just... It's only hard to move it around. It's not the puzzle itself. It never is the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, okay. But, uh, oh, I like the way that... That's like a, a ship's wheel, the thing that just span around on the door. That's quite cool. Oh, yeah. Um... But yeah, here's the captain's quarters, which is uh, quite a small room. Is this room? I mean, how's this, this quarters? Room? It must be the engine. I mean, look at that. It's just a giant. There's a big engine in it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like... <laughs> but anyway, okay. we've been attacked. We're, uh, yeah. We've been invaded by a sea monster from the depths. And the lights um, are off. This is... Power is off. And oh, the never lights mind. Are lights are... Are... And the <laughs> ship starts tilting. This is such a cool. The lights are actually cool on. Session. But, yeah. like, it, it's but it got a bit supposed to be dark and gloomy, yeah. Um, and, Just, whoa! Oh, he d it's completely destroyed on the side to where you can't explore anything else. You have to escape. But yeah, this sequence, so yeah. badass. So cool. Yeah. Like, having to and, escape I mean, this. You, oh, there you go. These tentacles belong to a monster of something size, yeah. Um, the ship is under oh. attack. And I, I, we'll talk more about the, the boss, obviously, when we see the boss, but... I think, you know, it's no spoiler to, to most people that it, it, it's kind of underwhelming in, in its design anyway. Uh, but yeah. a big part of that is because the build-up to it is so, so great. Like, Amazing, this is one yeah. of the Whoops. This is absolutely fantastic. Uh, and that's kind of why it, it, it's a bit of a letdown when you see the actual boss. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is just perfect. This is so cool. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, no, it's like, this is easily you. the best part of the boss. And yeah, it's cool because, like, now you can't you go any back? further. No, I don't okay, so believe like unloads, so. Unloads yeah, the it won't, area, yeah. Yeah, like Link can't even see what's underneath. But it's it's 
Yeah, the way you're like forced. I mean, here's the thing. You're not actually timed. You Right now, you'd feel like on the edge of your seat. Oh, I got to get out. The ship's about to, you know, d become destroyed. But it's like, nah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not at all an issue. And I like how you can do this. Oh, yeah. Yo, yes. if Link, if, if, if it was Link up against Donkey Kong, this dude would yeah, like, be Donkey right, yeah. has no chance. <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, okay, more tentacles. So you okay, can only so. destroy these with a Skyward Strike, right? You yeah. Just cut them. If, we, if we try to hit it normally, nah, it's too uh, rubbery. Yeah. It's nah, uh, that was not the nicest sound when you tried to do it. <laughs> True. <laughs> But okay, let's quickly. Man, I feel bad for Skipper. His ship is toast. Like, yeah, there's no coming good, back after this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but okay, um, I think we made it to the end. Yeah, we, we can't save. The, the sa even the save statue's gone. Uh, we can't sit either, I just realized. Uh, no opportunity. Oh, <laughs> we flooded our chair. Okay, what's she saying? Uh, warning, master. Okay, warning. Yeah, this is, this is it. This is, okay, so this octopus that we've already... Er, yeah, An evil I guess. presence on the other side of this door. Some, some some tentacle monster that has been attacking us, you know. Unseen leviathan of the the ancient sea. Yeah, uh, it's you know big enough to take down the sand ship. Uh, I wonder what it looks like. <laughs> right here we go. Here we go. Step out into the pouring rain. Look at the ship. The fake rain, just a layer on top of the screen. True. Yeah, you just gotta pretend you don't see that. <laughs> like you could literally here edit that layer in. On like any part of the gameplay, because it literally is just like yeah. a fake layer. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh God! And it's and it's Mike Wazowski's Celia from Monsters wife. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or what's her name? <laughs> Celia. Yeah. Okay, I just know her as Mike Wazowski's wife or girl or whatever. Oh, <laughs> Ten to <why>? us. <laughs> Because uh, there's a couple other bosses in Skyward Sword, like Skaldera, that I kind of wish looked cooler, but. but this at least Skaldera looks example. way better than this. Yeah, this is just. Anything a fat, looks better than this. Weird looking octopus. And it's just so lame looking. Like, yeah. there is nothing special about it. Um, doesn't help that it, 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 it does look like it's a really fat thing. Uh, it would have been cooler if it looked more menacing. Or maybe if it wasn't, like, shaped the way it's shaped. The big head, a big body. Uh, with the, the eye in the middle. The eye in the middle can be menacing, but not with the body like not this. Not with the boobs. I think yeah. that they, they kind of hurt any intimidation factor <laughs> that the Tentulus has. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I like with the build up to the fight. Like, the problem is, like, I wouldn't care if, if the fight sucked. I wouldn't really care what the Tentulus looked like. But this is actually a really good boss fight as well. It's yeah. so cinematic, and, you know, there's a couple different stages of the fight. Uh, I just wish I wish the boss itself looked be looked better. You know, I, even a really kind of basic run-of-the-mill giant squid uh, with no kind of character to it at all would have looked better. Like I do appreciate Zelda for taking risks and trying to be a bit quirky, like it does a lot of the time. But I think this time it didn't pay off. Yeah, th this um, time it wasn't welcome. I agree 100%. Zelda c should have those funny moments and everything, but no, not 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 with this guy over here. Like yeah. So, um, so silly looking. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. Can we get a phi reading on this or do we, do you need to, to target the eye to get a reading? Uh, here, I'll try when it falls down. Yeah, have a so, go, okay. have a go now. Alright, let's see. Hey, here you okay. go. Yeah. Tentalus. As you can likely gather from its other title, Abyssal Leviathan. A tyrant of the ancient seas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we repel them and, repel and, and okay. regenerate after a short time? More info. Ooh, uh, oh, man. More info. Oh, okay. hey, yo, I got none, yeah. man. Why are you asking? Nah, you're on your own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fine. Let's go ahead and now go for the eye again. I mean, this is typical Zelda, though, you know, just attacking the eye. Um, yep. I do like, though, how, like, yeah, you, you gotta, like, again, like you said, because the boss battle itself is really cool. Like, the tentacles that sprout out from this giant, you know, wrecked shipboard, and they're supposed to, you know, chop them down. It's, it reminds me of Hercules a lot, like, you know, trying to take oh, down... with the, the Hydra, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. Hydra, instead of... of the, those were heads, that's a lot more menacing, but still. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're literally chopping off body parts, essentially, as you, uh... Whoa. Try to, yeah, survive all these attacks. It, it's so cool, but... Yeah, then exactly. Realize... Like, I'd never call it a bad boss fight. I'd say it's just underwhelming, because... Yeah. 
everything except the design is really cool. Um, they say don't judge a book by its cover, but this is the one time where I'm it, judging this the one. book. I'm yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah, you can't go around it. <laughs> okay, yeah. what what is going wow. on? I'm You're getting okay. smacked around. Okay, yeah. there we go. Luckily, they, right. it gives you a really easy chance to yeah. uh, make up for all of that. It's and quite generous, the hair really. didn't regenerate. I just realized. And well, you could chop. You could really give it a haircut, like. Instead of chopping just a tentacle and it completely falls off, you could chop higher up and shorten the tentacle even more. Like Yeah, um, that's cool. It's quite dynamic. Yeah. But, uh, okay. yeah, here we go. Phase two of the fight. Uh, we need to oh. get to higher ground. Let's go! Oh, God. <laughs> more barrels that somehow appear out of nowhere. And Wait, what the hell? That was weird. Yeah, oh, are, God, where wait. Where are they coming from? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it invisible Donkey Kong in the sky? <laughs> Probably, but okay, okay. Phase two, things get even more hectic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still missing the hair. Uh, I guess Still it only regenerates its arms, or no? It probably its legs. Its legs are probably what sprout out from the ground. But okay, this is some Medusa. I mean, you already get Medusa vibes with the, the hair, but now it's yeah, like really but snakes. With the, the snake hair. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It looks it's pretty cool. Okay, that, it looks quite intimidating now. Like where it's, yeah. No, uh, I agree. Yeah, in, the, in this in that exact position with its eyes and the in this yeah the the hair attacking yeah. you. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, but so yeah, the fight is still kind of the same kind of relatively simple procedure. Just hit the eye, <laughs> like you yep. said, classic Zelda boss. Mm -hmm. The rinse repeat. Uh, I think. We'll yeah. do oh, this does again. Vi have more information now? Maybe. Oh, uh, true. I don't think we should have any more lore on it. It'll just be. Maybe we'll probably talk about the hair, or I'll check yeah, before I. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk. I'll talk to, or I'll have fun. Oh, I'm like yeah, rushing yeah, yeah. to the eye already. <laughs> Muscle memory at wow. this point. Okay. Yeah, you yeah, got to yeah. charge it up uh, a decent amount because that one looked like it hit, but it somehow didn't. But okay. I think you, like, uh, clip the eyelid or something. Okay, what's it saying? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Great. Thanks, fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's finish it off. Maybe. Yep. Okay. Whee! There you go. That was tenterless. Yeah, maybe you should uh, yep. wear an iPad. I mean, I guess you wouldn't be able to see. <laughs> 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 but there we go. Mm. And now the storm clears and up, or the fake exactly. rain. Someone turned off the lair. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Heart container. And um, yeah, makes you well, wonder we'll where was to... Nehru's flame? The whole ship is destroyed. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> True. It doesn't Where was appear it hidden? on the roof here? I can't remember. I guess, yeah, just here. It just magically appears. How, how does this happen? It's just on the symbol. Oh, it just glows. It's like, you did it. it. You destroyed the ship. Now you can have what <laughs> we were hiding. The only way to yeah. get to it is by destroying the entire ship. <laughs> <laughs> it's but quite okay. a good defense mechanism, really. No one would think of <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> right? Actually, it is. Um, but okay, one Man, last I feel look. bad for Skipper, though. Have a look around. Look. Yeah. <laughs> it is wrecked. It is destroyed. Where is he, well, anyways? <laughs> yeah, he's yeah sleeping with the fishes now. I think. <laughs> what if we jump down? I guess we just spawn back up, right? Wee! Watch, you have to do the whole boss fight again. <laughs> now you good. Yeah. Okay, so now it's time for the true upgrade. Okay, so let's let's just look at our sword one last time. You know, it is again very reminiscent of the goddess sword that we originally got. Kind of. Cool. I still like the way it looks. Don't get me wrong. I think the design's really cool, but the design will completely beef up here now that we uh, yeah. are going to upgrade it with the Flame of Wisdom or, I don't know, Nehru's Flame, whatever you call it. Nehru's Flame, yeah. So this is our second flame. Um, uh, wait, so we, we're on the Goddess Longsword now, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you're right. Okay, so this is the last upgrade that will retain it as the goddess sword before we uh we go beyond yeah yeah it's a huge upgrade yeah that's why i want to make sure we looked at it one last time uh yeah, again yeah. fi is acting i mean again it makes sense she's a spirit within the sword she's the connection between i guess the flame and what actually goes into the piece of steel or whatever the goddess sword is made out of um, yeah i don't know yeah goddess metal is there, I was trying to think of like some metal from Breath of the Wild of the Kingdom that's unique. Like some, there's no Goron metal or anything I could think of. I think. Uh, no, I don't know. Master Ore, like from A Link Between Worlds. We'll go with that. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, this, maybe it's Master Ore. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. I, I do love the way. I think I said it last time. I love the way Link kind of has to fight against the flame as it. Yeah. 
it's almost like it's attacking him. It let's you so know it's divine power. But oh wait, I was wrong. It didn't. It bro. It just what? changed color. <laughs> it just, the transformation literally, yeah, went. Now it's the white sword, right? Yeah. So it barely transformed. My bad. The last flame. We have one more flame that will truly evolve the way it looks. But it still looks cool. I mean, I do think it definitely looks different. Like the white, um, it's, the white sword it's just has different. A, it's like a shiny Pokemon or whatever. It's like yeah, literally, shape. literally. <laughs> it's like we got the shiny version of it. And if anything, there is literally a sword and shield Pokemon. So. <laughs> oh, true. Uh, Hone Edge. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I think I, I don't know the name. I forgot, but yeah. Now, another Triforce appears. Nice. Oh, it looks so dope. Three ain't bad. Yep. <laughs> hey, what's she saying now? She'll probably tell oh, us now. We gotta go find the last one. Okay, you hands your sword. Yep. Oh, now of we course. Gotta head right. Out of the songs. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, it'd be on to Eldin next, which it, yeah, it's weird how you you. Do the regions out of order the second time yeah. around. Yeah, yeah, but it Thanks probably gets difficulty. Just, thank you for getting me my ship back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> completely <laughs> wrecked. <laughs> True. It was like that when we found it, right? Even mean, half wrecked, bro. It was obliterated. What is he talking oh. about? <laughs> oh no, he, his crew have fixed it up apparently in no time. Zert. That makes no <laughs> sense. I mean, might as well build a new ship if you could build it this <laughs> yeah, fast. Right? Like what the. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I guess that gives us a chance to revisit it in case we didn't get the uh, piece of heart or even the heart container if I just ignored it outright. Wait, but how would... I guess the heart container would just lay in the engine room or something because how do you get back to its wrecked state, right? I should have left it just to see what would have happened. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I reckon you're right. I reckon it would just be somewhere on the ship that it's easy mm -hmm. to find. But I think, yeah, the um, scabbard even changed, like, the um, yeah, design color, is, like, yeah. yeah, like it's, uh, it fits the, you know, the, the, the shiny look it now has. It's more, uh, like, fitting color-wise, you know. They both look, not, not white, though. It's called the white sword, right? But it's, it's like, this kind bluish, gray pasty. blue sword, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if anything, let's, let's see if the, the name literally says it on, uh, yeah, goddess white sword. Yeah, goddess white sword, yeah. Oh. Nehru's and in the white sword, this is not the first time we've seen a white sword, right? This would be no. The there's a couple. Time. There's or, uh, oh yeah, Minish Cap, right? Minish Cap no. is white sword. And white Zelda sword one, in Zelda one. Yeah. Um, are there any? Uh, I can't if there think is another of one, I'm spacing out on it. Um, I don't think a link to the past has. I think it just goes from the tempered to the gold or whatever. Gold. Yeah. Um, yeah. Those are way cooler. Uh, there's, I mean, the master sword goes. It has a lot of cool redesigns, but this is again the the origin. This is essentially the baby Master Sword, pre Master Sword, before it you know went through puberty and <laughs> becomes an adult. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we got a, a kind of adolescent Master Sword at the moment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not not quite a man. Uh huh. But I guess that does it for this one. We finished the temple, and now it's time yeah. to head back and continue upgrade. I'm excited to see what happens next and to actually upgrade the sword into the beast it becomes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, well, I suppose that about does it for this episode. So, yep. yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace, guys. Peace.